Oh, it smells really coconutty. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Wow. There's a reason why it's the ultimate bite. You get all those flavors, especially with this one. So Nasi Lamak in Malaysia is like pizza in New York City. There's always favorites, everyone has their opinion. We're gonna check out some of the best and we're gonna keep it unique too. We're gonna go traditional, non-traditional. Very excited to show you. Starting off with the best Nasi Lamak in town. So we're here at Village Park. Many people say this is the best nasi lemak. We'll see. Uh, we've had it once before. We loved it. It was our brief visit here three years ago. We've been dying to come back. That fried chicken is just a thing of beauty. Uh, it's been in our dreams. It's been haunting us for three years. Now we can satisfy the craving. So I've never seen fried chicken like this in my life. I love fried chicken, but look how look at that shatteringly crisp skin right there. Look at that. Just, just crumbled. You eat some of that crumble just by itself. Look at that. Mm. You can just take these crumbles, put them on rice, sambal, call it a day, but you still have that whole chicken. Less talking, more eating. Let's get in there. Mm -hmm. Still the most best marinated fried chicken I think I've ever had in my life. Wow. So of course, the most important part of the nasi lemak is the nasi, the rice. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's so coconutty and fragrant. There's a little pandan in there too. It's very coconutty flavor. Nice fluffy rice. It's so good. Now let's try with the samba. Mmm. The samba is quite nice too. It's got a little kick. Nice sweetness to it to balance it all out. Very nice. And you have your peanuts. You have your cucumber. You got your egg. This. They say it's the best nasi lemak. Probably right. All right. So what makes this nasi lemak so special is just that balance of all the flavors. The nasi itself is so fragrant with that coconut and pandan. And then you have that fried chicken with just all those aromatic spices, that lemongrass, the lime leaves, the turmeric, and it's so crispy and crunchy. Then you have that sambal, which with the ikan bilis in there, so it's a little sweet, a little spicy. It's got that slight fishy flavor that's just the perfect level of it. You got your peanuts and your cucumber, that boiled egg, you just got it all. It's really the breakfast of champs. This one has just got it all down. It's served right on that banana leaf too. We are at Nasi Lemak Wanjo. I've got a plate and Greg has his own plate. I've got chicken rendang, beef rendang, fried egg, fried long, cucumber, sambal over my rice. The school here at Nasi Lemak Wanjo is in Kampung Baru, it means old village. And we love this part of the city because it is like an old village in the middle of the city. So you have these small houses and uh, surrounded by the Petronas Towers and all the skyscrapers. So it's a really special part of the city here in KL. Similar plate to Jumi, but instead of the uh, chicken rendang, I got the sambal sotong, the squid sambal. It looks amazing. And um, even their uh, ikan bilis is really interesting looking. It's like it's like more of a tan color. They even sell it over there by the counter. So you can actually buy a jar of it to go if you want to bring it home. The nasi is covered, so I'm gonna try to get that little bit of nasi by itself first just to taste it. Oh, it smells really coconutty. Mm. Wow, that's some very fragrant rice right here. It's nice, it's a little bit oily, fluffy. It's got very nice coconut flavor and nice pandan flavor as well. This is some excellent nasi already. And we'll try it with a little bit of the samba. Mm. 
smells really nice. It's a little sweet, a little smoky. Not some, not too spicy, which which I like. It's gonna balance out all the other ingredients. It's really good. Try a piece of the beef friend done by itself. This is a very like classic beef friend done, not saucy. It's like all the. This one looks like it was like slow cooked, absorbing all the flavors. So you get a really nice beefy flavor in this. But you still get the aromatics like the lemongrass. Mm. Really good. I would try something to eat on Benice by itself. Like, you know it's gotta be good if they're selling it by the jar at the counter. So let's try it just by itself. Mm. Quite salty, but nice crisp for them. It's like a little smaller than some of the other Econ Benice you've had. Really nice. Let's try this beef lung right here. Wow. This beef lung appears to be fried. Really, it does not have any gamey flavor at all. It's quite of a peppery flavor too. Really good. Yeah, Wando is very popular for good reason. For our next stop, we're at a very famous spot here in PJ. It's Medan Salera 223. And they have two stalls here for Nasi Lamak Bukus. The simple, classic style. No side dishes, just the essential. We're starting here with the blue sign. It's been covering that banana leaf, so I'm really excited to have that banana leaf aroma on the rice. Let's see. Mmm. Really smell that banana leaf on here. Mmm. Trying the rice by itself is very fragrant. That rice will absorb that banana leaf flavor. I love that. Now let's try it with the samba. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, it's that kick. I really like it though. It's smoky, a little spicy. It's got a rice, right amount of fish flavor, not overly fishy, but it's got a nice punch. It makes it really nice with that fragrant banana leaf puffer nasi right there. Ultimate bite. Mm. Econ Belize, very crunchy, very fresh. Wow, it's really good. It's a few steps away from each other. Now we're at the blue spot, and now we're at the red spot with red spoon and red plate and red table. Not the uh, chop meta, which means red stamp, so. Mm. So it's very, you can still smell the banana leaf on this one like the last one. The way it's attached to banana leaf, it's a little softer, but not as fluffy. I'm gonna try with the sambal. This one smells much fishier, much more pungent flavor. I'm very curious to see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, the spice coming in. Yeah. Sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. So you know it smells pungent, it doesn't have a heavy fish flavor, it's, it's nice and balanced, but this one tastes spicier than the last I feel. This one, I don't know, maybe the red means spicier, I don't know, but this one definitely got more of a spicy kick. Really nice flavor with the peanuts. Hard to say which one I like better, I, I don't know, they're both subtly different. Um, the rice is fluffier at the blue spot. Sambal are both quite tasty. This one's a little bit spicier. I feel the first spot, you can really taste more of the banana leaf flavor on the rice as opposed to this one. Both quite tasty. and it's down the block from Village Park. We are getting salted egg nasi lemak. It's gonna be our first time trying it. Usually the nasi lemak, we like to go right in with the nasi first, the rice, because that's how you really tell how nasi lemak is, but this salted egg fried chicken is calling my name, that aroma it just looks so good and you want to eat it while it's hot. So I'm going to go with that first. And it's a whole chicken leg, so you have the thigh and the drumstick, it's chopped in half. It's a huge piece of chicken here. Ooh, 
so hot. Let's go, look at that. The really creamy layer on the outside looks that's like this. Not too much because the salted egg it makes it more moist, but it's such a rich, nice flavor. I love how that curry leaf comes in too, so it kind of like complements the salted egg. So you don't have to just salt the egg flavor, you get that nice curry leaf flavor going with it. Wow, never had any fried chicken quite like this before. It is incredible. And now, without further ado, I'm gonna go with the nasi. Ooh, it smells very aromatic. It smells coconutty. Let's see what else is in here. Mm. That's a really nice rice. Fluffy, coconutty. A little pond dog, maybe even some lemongrass in here. It looks like they put a little bit of salt and egg yolk on top. But now we gotta try the sambal. The sambal looks really good. Okay. Mm. Oh, <laughs> good thing I was careful. This thing's got a kick. This is a wonderful nasi lemak right here. It needs to be on your radar for sure. So this is more of a Nyonya style, which is cool because this, this restaurant specializes a lot of Penang Nyonya style dishes. Man, this place is a gem. We have salted egg fried squid and Kang Kong Belachang. Yes. This one is really good too. Wow. Before we even get into the Nasi Lamak, I gotta get into how cool this place is. So the spot Bum Bum is like, it's a nighttime only spot. It's hopping. So even with the current situation, you know, they got the tables distance. So you have all these red tables, you got the red stools. I love the vibe already. You walk in, you come down the stairs, they're cracking fresh eggs, cooking them up fresh to go. They got the fresh fried chicken right here that I am going in. It looks amazing. I love Nasi Lamak. We've covered so many in this video. This one looks really special. Let's do it. Like we often do, I'm gonna go with the nasi first. Mm, smells nice and fragrant. Mm. Oh, wow. So the santan flavor is not that strong. It's really lemongrassy. Wow. Now it's coconutty, more lemongrass. I like it. Chicken looks incredible too. This is a really crispy piece. It's actually a, the skin is just coming right off. Only like this. Oh. Mm. Wow, that's a different spice blend that I did not expect. Wow, instead of the usual like ayam rempa, they may have like lemongrass and lime leaf. It's a totally different spice blend. This tastes more like oregano and some other herbs, maybe some maybe thyme or rosemary. This is a totally different taste of fried chicken right here. Kind of blowing me away. Go with the sambal and some of that rice. Mmm. It's good sambal. It's got the onions. It's, it's kind of liquidy too, which I like. And uh, it's got a kick. And you really get that nice fish flavor in here as well. It's a very, very good sambal. Um, was like, they actually give you the large slice of cucumber here. You got your peanuts. The cucumber leaves mixed with the sambal, so it's not on its on the side. It's a little different in that way, but man, I'm really digging this. This nasi lemak is so good. We got another one. And this one's got that beautiful fried egg, very yolky on top. We're extra hungry after this workout, and man, we have not worked out like this in a very long time, so big shout out to Fowler right here. Check out his gym, Salvador's Boxing Academy is awesome. Uh, if you really wanna get into shape and not just do you know your average workouts, check him out. He's been whipping us into shape so we can eat all this food. 